Today we're talking all things milk paint. Keep watching for my five favorite tips on using milk paint to paint on furniture. Tip one is all about how to properly mix up milk paint. First, you'll wanna add an equal ratio of milk paint powder to water. Add the water to your jar first and then add the powder. This helps with mixing it all up well. My last hint would be to use a little handheld mixer. These are sometimes called milk frothers or sometimes you can find mini whisks. You'll find a link to the exact one I'm using in my blog post or in the description on YouTube. All right, so we've mixed it up for anywhere between one and three minutes. We're gonna let it sit for 10. After sitting for 10 minutes, we're gonna mix it up one more time. This is gonna disperse all the color pigments really well. Tip number two, add bonding agent to your paint if you want it to adhere really well. If you're painting over a previously painted or finished surface and you don't want to have chipping, you'll want to make sure you add bonding agent to your milk paint. Bonding agent is basically a primer that's added specifically to milk paint to help it adhere to the surface really well. Bonding agent is applied in a ratio of two parts paint to one part bonding agent. So this will definitely depend on how much milk paint you mixed up. You can change the ratio of bonding agent added. Um, if you want just a little bit of distressing, you could do a lower ratio of the bonding agent. If you're painting a super slick surface, you can up the bonding agent to do, let's say a one-to-one -one ratio of bonding agent to paint. Tip number three, you'll want to do multiple thin coats of milk paint. Now on that first coat, it's going to look thin. I actually mixed up this milk paint example almost too thin, but either way, it's still covered in three total coats. Between each coat, you'll want to make sure to sand with 220 grit sandpaper and then paint on your second and your third coats after that. Step number four is to distress your piece if you'd like. Now, this is obviously totally optional. Um, you can, after painting, you can use 220 grit sandpaper to just sand away some of the paint. It will take a little bit of elbow grease if you use bonding agent. A way to make that distress a little easier is to, before you paint, add a little bit of clear wax. This could be like from a clear crayon or a little bit of hemp oil like I used in the video or a little bit of um, furniture wax on certain areas and then, after you've painted and it's dried, when you go back, it will distress away easier. Of course, this is a completely optional look and totally up to you. You can see I did a little bit of distressing on my piece, but not much at all. Milk paint lends itself well to this if you'd like to use it. Tip five is to add a top coat. With milk paint, you definitely need a top coat because it's a porous paint. And if left unfinished, anything can basically like seep into it. So here I've got my three favorite top coats for furniture. I've got hemp oil, I've got a clear water-based polyurethane and furniture wax. You can see each one gives a slightly different finish. Hemp oil will make it darker, but it does need to be reapplied about every year. It's the most natural of the finishes as well. Water-based polyurethane will not change the color at all and will give the thickest finish. So if you've got chipping milk paint, you may wanna use this option because it seals in the chipping really well. Furniture wax kind of highlights the natural organic look of the milk paint. It darkens it slightly, um, but gives it a hand rub sheen. Now, if you're wanting for a slightly darker look of your paint, but you wanna use furniture wax, you can do hemp oil, let it cure for a day, that will darken it, and then go over it with furniture wax. That gives a really nice finish. I finished this particular piece just with furniture wax. I personally love the variation of color within milk paint and the slight texture that is natural to the paint. You can see it can be finished in lots of different ways, giving you endless possibilities for how to use it. Thanks so much for watching.